हेलो फ्रेंड्स अगेन टुडे अगेन आई एम इन माइक्रोवेव सीरीज द माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग सीरीज ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वील डिस्कस अबाउट माइक्रोवेव फ्रिक्वेंसी बैंड्स ओके लास्ट क्लास ऑलरेडी आई टोल्ड इट इज अ बैंड ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी इन विच द ट्रांसमिशन इज टेकिंग प्लेस ओके सो दैट बैंड वील गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड इट इज अगेन फर्दर सप्लीटेड टू मेनी बैंड्स लेट मी डिस्कस वन बाई वन सो दीज माइक्रोवेव फ्रिक्वेंसी बैंड्स इट इज रेंजिंग फ्रॉम एज यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग ऑन द स्क्रीन इट इज रेंजिंग फ्रॉम 300 हंड्रेड मेगाज टू थ्री हंड्रेड गिगा हर्ज मेगा टू गिगा हर्ज दैट ऑल्सो यू कैन टेल दिस इज पॉइंट थ्री गिगा टू थ्री हंड्रेड गिगा हर्ज थ्री हंड्रेड मेगा पॉइंट थ्री गिगा पॉइंट थ्री गिगा टू थ्री हंड्रेड गिगा हर्ज द सेम थिंग यू विल रिप्रेजेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेव लेंथ वेव लेंथ यू विल रिप्रेजेंट इट इज नथिंग बट वन मिलीमीटर टू वन मीटर ओके हाउ यू कन्वर्ट दिस वन वेरी इजी लमड़ा इक्वल टू सी वाई एफ वेव लेंथ इक्वल टू वेलोसिटी ऑफ लाइट डिवाइडेड बाई फ्रीक्वेंसी lambda by f sorry c by f right lambda equal to c by f using that you can find out that 1 mm to 1 meter it is again you will see see on the screen the frequency band it is ranging in between infrared ray and radio waves normally to human technology till now the technology we are working from gamma ray to we are working up to radio waves you will go towards gamma rays then the frequency goes on increasing Similarly, if you go towards radio waves, the frequency goes on decreasing. In vice versa, if you go towards these uh, radio waves, microwaves, then radio waves, the wavelength goes on increasing. Peak to peak distance goes on increasing. Okay. On the other end, if you go towards gamma rays, the wavelength is decreasing. Frequency is increasing. Wavelength is decreasing. Frequency is decreasing. Wavelength is increasing. Okay. These are the two ends. And our band, it is microwave band. It is fall in between, in between these infrared rays. and radio waves again this microwave frequency band is again subdivided into many band sub bands many sub bands so what are those sub bands and what are the applications of those sub bands let me discuss one by one okay as you are seeing on the screen the top one is uhf uhf that is uh, 0.3 gigahertz to 1 gigahertz uhf ultra high frequency band okay the less application is there let me discuss from uh, first one that your uh, 1 gigahertz to 2 gigahertz l band i will discuss from there directly because from there major application started okay so the first band as i told it is l band this l band signal it is also called landing band who worked on this one already i told that is uh, marconi radio communication taken plus this l band he worked on in this one okay so that l band it is 1 to 2 gigahertz Why it, and if we convert this one into wavelength terms, it is 15 centimeter to 13 centimeter the wavelength. Okay, peak to peak distance. That is this much. Similarly, next one, if we we'll observe this one, L band, it is useful for GPS communication. Already I told L band, landing band, landing band means it is uh, useful for signal which is transmitted from the satellite and it is reaching. from the satellite and it is reaching on the earth surface landing landing from the satellite on the earth surface this is l band landing band 1 to 2 gigahertz okay so what are the major applications of this band this band is normally it is useful for uh, that uh, military in telemetry purpose as well as uh, that uh, mobile phone mobile phone purpose also it is useful okay so this is useful for mobile communication gsm over phone you are talking na 2g 3g these kind of things so it is useful for mobile phone application also in radio communication marconi already used that one that is l band next to l band the signal is s band s band is sending band sending means from the earth surface we are sending to the satellite the signal which is transmitted the in this frequency band we are transmitting the signal to the satellite 2 to 4 gigahertz normally the sending frequency is higher than that of uh, l band okay so this application is also some other some other applications are also there like in mobile phone also you are using like in bluetooth zigbee technology also you are using this technology gps also it is useful okay so these are the applications and uh, next to this one c band next to this one c band in c band what you will find in c band it is uh, long distance radio communication intercontinental okay intercontinental transmission is there 
that is C band communication. Next to C band, another is called X band, that is satellite communication. Again, we are using this is X band we are using for satellite communication. Please remember, this X band is not uh, X rays. X ray is high frequency than this one. This is X band, one band from that is your microwave band. Okay, so this X band it is useful for satellite communication. You will find number of applications here also. Okay, terrestrial broadcasting, the broadband you are using, na? those broadbands is nothing but in this band only we are using. Okay, similarly, space communication we are using some biomedical engineering application is also there that is molecular uh, rotational spectroscopy while you are testing in the body some instruments are there in biomedical engineering some applications are there next is called Ku band okay this Ku band it is useful for satellite communication as well as some biomedical applications next is K band K band is also it is useful for radar communication K band is also useful for radar communication astronomical observation also we are doing astronomical observation means uh, Normally, we are sending the signal to the space. We are sending the signal to into the space so that it will go on, go on, go on, and somewhere it will strike and it will return back in that way. Okay. Otherwise, uh, someone will pick up the signal like that. Or space communication means satellite to satellite in space communication. Also, we are using this one. This kind of signals. This is K band. We are using. Okay. In automotive radar, also we are using some biomedical application also also there. Okay. Similarly, next is K band. This is also useful for satellite communication purpose as well as molecular uh, rotational spectroscopy again biomedical application. Next one is Q band. This Q band it is uh, from 33 gigahertz to 50 gigahertz. Frequencies are there in the table. You can see from there. Okay. So this band is normal. It is useful for radio astronomy, automotive radars. Okay. Satellite communication, terrestrial microwave uh, communication. Satellite terrestrial microwave communication means in the sense uh, when two towers are there, two towers. Uh, those uh, telecommunication towers are there they are communicating with each other okay point to point communication they are communicating with each other that uh, for that purpose also that is called uh, terrestrial communication one to one okay point to point communication we are using this microwaves next is v band this v band is millimeter wave for radar research okay this is also some other applications are also there that is molecular uh, biology all these things are there okay you can see from there Next is W band. This W band is useful for W band is useful for that is your satellite communication millimeter wave again millimeter wave research. Now in 5G the thing which is about to come 5G technology those are millimeter waves only those are microwaves only. In recent uh, 2020 end they are telling that they, they will launch actually the full phase 5G you are going to get in 2024 or 25 that time. Okay, but anyhow it already started they implemented. So this 5G what we are going to get the service it is millimeter waves only in this uh, microwave frequency band only you are going to get okay some non-military automotive car automotive radar system is also there we are using similarly next is your uh, F band that is your super high frequency transmission radio astronomy we are using astronomy we are sending the signal high wavelength means it will travel long distance into the space please try to understand low high frequency signal attenuate easily but uh, low frequency signal wavelength is more wavelength is more means it will travel longer distance okay so we are using in that way also we are using so also we are using in LAN our LAN connections we are using most of the modern radars they are using in F band satellite television broadcasting broadcasting like uh, Tata Sky all this broadcasting you are using now ATL Dish TV this broadcasting also that is happening in this band F band we are using okay so these are the various frequency bands in which the communication is taking place. You have to remember what you need to remember. You need to remember the frequency bands in sequence as well as the frequencies. What are the applications? In detail the applications I will discuss in next class because in exam if they will ask you write the applications if you will write like this means it is no use. There you need to classify and you need to write. So in my next tutorial I will explain what are the applications and uh, what are the application areas we will discuss. Okay. Till then. Have a good day. Enjoy your day. Thank you.